We're live, baby. Woo. When you live. have sex, do you nap after? Mm, oh, nah. I can. <laughs> I, I'm out. I can. Post coitus? <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. I'm a fucking Bruh. bear, nigga. PCN, post coitus I'm nap? out. There's something about it where it's just like, damn. It, I did it. Job completed. You know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, what, I, I love that Patrice O'Neill bit where he's like, like that's why he loves, like, m- women are jealous because they can't see their cum. He's like, I yeah. know I did a good job because there it is. <laughs> there it is. Right yep. there. Yep. And I'm going to take this nap while yeah, you clean now, up. While <laughs> you figure that out, I'm out, baby. I did my part. Look at it. Receipt. That's why I love that joke. But yeah, when I, bro, when I, bro, when I, bro, when I bust, <laughs> when I bust. Good night. Out, son. Out. The bus and nap? No, I don't do that. You don't yeah. do that? Not like so you no, get, midday. You I get, get up? I'm energized at that point. Yeah, I conquered a mountain. <laughs> I, de- like, I came. She. I yeah. Got, good luck if she came. I don't know. It's hard to good. tell, man. Who can yeah. tell these yeah. days? Right. You know, with all the technology and stuff. Right. I know. Yeah. How do you? Yeah. How am I supposed to know? <laughs> how am I supposed to know? You know what I mean? The aliens are Chatty's real. Like, Chatty's like, these motherfuckers. I know. <laughs> this is, what is, did I sign what up for? Fuck? Chatty, look, this is the truth <laughs> podcast. And let me tell you another thing about Trump. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, bro, what, I, I don't know what that is. That sleep is the best sleep ever, nigga, midday. Yeah. yeah. Like, so, no, if we do it, like, in the morning, because I'm, if I wake up, when I wake up in the morning, I'm up. Yeah. Yeah. Up. <laughs> I noticed. I saw you this yeah, morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. saw you. <laughs> Bro, I walked out the house. I was like, "Hey, neighbor." He was like, "What the Yo, fuck?" Hey, <laughs> neighbor. And I, <laughs> and I, Bro, like I was a just white lab. With <laughs> I was just messing with him. <laughs> I was like, "Get the fuck out of here." <laughs> Seven eight. Who are you talking to like Dude, that? He is. Hey, never. <laughs> bro, this motherfucker moved into. I really wish. I really so wish I would have heard. In the hola, uh, hola, 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 Hey, <laughs> we'll get back. I, to I, I'm not good at this shit. Don't uh, worry. I'm not, we'll bring I'm not it good up. At, thank you for letting us know, Chad. Yeah, I'm not yeah, good. I'm real. not good at surprises. Hey, Fucking surprise. They still don't know. Yeah, these no. they still. You know, people listening right now still yeah. like don't know. They don't know what that is. They don't know. Yeah, dude, niggas right? can't read now. Yeah, exactly. bro. And some people need to wear glasses. You, you, specifically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's yeah. No, I'm pretty sure all your listeners don't wear their glasses. Niggas, real niggas don't wear glasses. <laughs> is that real? No. Me, I wasn't me, 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 I, you haven't heard that bar yet. Me, is, that, <laughs> is that Killer Cam? <laughs> I haven't heard that bar. Sounds yeah. like, that Rose, Sounds that Rose. Is that Rose? You <laughs> say that? Rose I'm that? not deep on the Lil Yachty, but is that what he's talking about? <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, oh, but yeah, in the morning. Yeah, in the morning. So, and, and if we do it, I'm taking a nap immediately. Really? That's, right after. In the morning, is that a nap? That's still a nap, right? Yeah, I go back to say, well, I guess, yeah. Because it's just going, is it, or I is just it going back, back to sleep. We're like, yeah, and I'm like, damn, why am I, you know. Bro, but that's the yeah. best sleep, bro. That's like a. Yeah. a so I can't do it in the surgery. morning all the time because then I feel like I wasted my day because I got to have my walk. Okay? <laughs> this motherfucker. You hear me? Walk. I know I y'all. I got to have my I walk. I got to have my walk. How long <laughs> you been with your girl? I love that. Take, take, <laughs> no, take your time. No, like, I know he knows. Yeah, I know, I know. I this know motherfucker man. knows. Like, yeah, two, uh, two and some change. Two, oh, and you got morning sex, bro. Sam won't, Sam's not about it. Oh, really? That's why no. I was like, Sam's not about morning sex. Really? Would you, would you do it? Are you about it? I'm, yeah, I'm about it. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> yes, at, I am about yeah, it. We've yeah. been together almost six years, nigga. I'm, I'm, I, <laughs> I get everybody loves Raymond now. I get all these Shakia queens where you're like, look at this nigga complaining about, bro. I know, bro. That's and I used so to fuck. We used to right. fuck. We still fuck every day, but like, it is, it, it's crazy because we still fuck every day pretty much, but yeah. it ain't what enough, That's which so is fun. weird. Six years in a relationship, all of a sudden Kevin James is a good comedian. Yeah, I know, right? Like, this is what you're making sense. Talk your shit, right? Talk your shit, right? Raven. <laughs> Talk your yeah, shit, right. Raven. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fuck him every once in a while. Deborah, you bitch. Shouts uh, out to King of Queens. <laughs> hey, that's a good uh, show. Yeah, anytime, I didn't consistently watch it, but anytime that shit was on, that's I'm watching it. a good show. Every time. Jerry Stiller. Like they they squeezed yeah. the last like comedic juice out of Jerry Stiller. Oh, and it was 100%. so still, still fresh. Yeah, that show so was fire, nigga. That was good. Man, but yeah, I, man. I don't think anybody's ever said that about King of Queens. <laughs> <laughs> a, they, yeah. they want to put that on the billboard if they ever bring yeah, it back. Fire, the review, nigga. Right? <laughs> that fire, nigga. Why you go, nigga? Bust it. What you talking about, King of Queens? King of Queens. <laughs> yeah, he's seen it. He's on TBS. Right. Right after Friends. Yeah. Uh, yeah, bro. Sam, she be tripping, bro. Not that. I just, it is interesting when you're in a long relationship. I be thinking about that shit, fool. Like, because how old are you with your girl? So oh, I'm shit. in a newer relationship. So it's kind of exciting still, like six months, six, seven months, something like that. That, July of last year. Are you guys into coitus? Uh, say it again. Coitus. Are you guys yeah. making? Oh yeah, we're making love. Whoopi. Yeah, we're doing the thing. Damn, bro, I yeah. ain't never heard that term. Whoopi. Uh, the one prior to that one. Coitus. coitus? 
Oh, what that's is, like the he t- said it ten minutes think, ago. That's yeah. where I got it from. Co- coitus is like I think it's like the very scientific term oh. of, of sex. Scientific? It's not fornication. Isn't it? Latin more? I mean, I is it? Guess. I don't know. I thought I don't, it was oh, yeah. I'm trying I don't, to sound like I'm I don't educated know. too, nigga. I don't you know, know what I mean? I can do it. Coitus. It's not fornication. Uh, no, you that's dream right. of that. That's uh, dream of Californication. Yeah, oh, that's what. That's what I mean. I hate that's what you. I, <laughs> you got me. Yeah. I'm mad. I was like, dream of what? I was like, he's probably going to hit me with it, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to get excited. Yeah, that's David. <laughs> I love that song. That's David. Yeah, I knew it was it. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Hey, did, y'all talking about fornication? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Shout out to David Duchovny. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, the Californication. The show. It's a show. It was a show, too. I thought it was just uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. No, yeah. It's, I know. It's, 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 but it uh, they, also was a show. Yeah, they, so he was like a, what, a sex addict? He was, yeah. Uh, and a writer in... Uh, yeah, a writer. He in like Los Angeles, but a sex addict. It's actually a pretty good show. Six, yeah. seven seasons. That's yeah. what's up. Six, seven seasons. Not bad, bro. That's a good run. That's a good run. Hey, also, B-Mafia. Uh... Say what's up to our guests, man. Our fucking, my nigga, Chappelle Lacey, the homie. My mother, man, 50 grand. I'm talking about this guy. I'm assuming, I would hope that it, it would, that she'd go to that one. And not, like, I hope, I was like, funny, if she uses this one, I'm like, hey, can you just see this? No, I was like, motherfucker, you seen a ghost like, or something? Like, this what you talking Hey, man. Hey, say what's up to my uh, friends in here, yeah? <laughs> my nigga, Chappelle, and then, uh, his nigga, Mike. What if I was like, that? No, it was not like that. Like, yeah. What if, and, like, and his and homie, this motherfucker. I, I didn't, you know, it is what it Why, is. Like, I needed a ride. <laughs> he came with White Mike. Yeah, hey, White, White Mike. Mike. That's, yeah, that's, that's your nickname, man. I don't <laughs> how know how this happened. Yo, Asan became Dangerous Brendan. Brown. Yeah, it's, that's how hey, people call him that. Yeah. I will take White Mike because my previous nickname. You fuck with me with it. Uh, you call me. Oh yeah, Turn Dog. Turn Dog. The how bad is that? So Turn Dog. Yeah, you sound like some frat. Some frat. Sh- like frat. Dude, sh- I was at a job. It was a sales job. Those very frat energy he sales set you job. Up. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they. My name is Mike Turner. They're so not creative that they're like, turn dog. And it just stuck. I was turn dog at a whole five-year employment run of my life. And you couldn't <laughs> even shake it. I was like, what about just Mike? Hey, hey, can we just call him Mike? Did you call him turn dog when you met him, Uh No, I uh, I said it as a joke. And then he goes, bro, they call me that shit at work. I said, turn dog. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the lamest, like... <laughs> Yo, it's hard to not call you that, though, because Turner, I don't know what it is, but it's something... You look like you coach, you know, baseball. You know what I mean? You look... I feel right, that no, shit you from you. Like Bro, you, you look like you're supposed to be on third base. Like, right. I look yeah. like I've screamed at you about running the signs. <laughs> you, you went home, I told you to hold up. <laughs> All right, Nick? What does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? <laughs> I told you to stop. <laughs> I have screamed at a 12-year-old recently. Hey, that's what that's I look fine. like. I want to know something. When did y'all meet, man? We don't know. Yeah, we don't know. Real we, shit? We, were talking we literally about don't. We literally can. We know it was years ago, but we just can't tell you yeah. when or how. Kindred or, spirits. It just kind of was like, damn, yeah. we've, we've always known each we other. We literally do not know how it happened. Uh, but comedy in Phoenix. You know how it is on the scene, yeah. though. Yeah. So sometimes you actually don't know when you meet a motherfucker. I feel like. Like, I've also got other dudes that I know that I fucked with heavy in comedy. It's like, when did we meet? Was it yeah. the patio of monkey pants? Was it yeah, the, just the like patio at this place? Was it this, that, whatever? You just don't know. I don't know. I, yeah, I always think it was this weekend to stand up Scottsdale, but I know that we had already probably known each other. But yeah, then, yeah. So either way, the Phoenix comedy scene though. Damn, yeah. that is funny how that happens though. Yeah, yeah. Because it, 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 it you just me. like you, what you think about it, it's like I don't know, bro. I was just doing mics with him, and then next thing I'm doing shows with him. And, and, and then that. it was crazy because like really quickly we were doing like, yeah. You know, obviously you're hitting mics uh, in the same mics, but then we were like working on real shows and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, like doing the clubs. Yeah. Damn, yeah. bro. That's what's so seven years, five years. Probably five or six, something like that. When was I, I started in, well, it was whenever you started back in comedy. I didn't comedy. come back into comedy until 2016. So, but I, but I, but I had saw you around even though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even before, before right, I got so back in. Right, so 2015, into, something like that, yeah. Yeah, I didn't get back in it until Because I started 2012, but then you had just departed comedy. Yeah. I, when I started, he was like, you were probably like two years in, but then you had some life stuff happening. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So... Damn, bro. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, but you knew of like, did you know of him? And like, like while you're doing it, and he he's he's away from it a little I bit. Did, did you I don't know? Think of him? I did. I, maybe I don't know. I oh, remember God. when you came back on. I was like, who the fuck is this motherfucker getting <laughs> guest spots on a weekend? <laughs> I, bro, I pulled a, up here. I was like, <laughs> that's some comedy shit. Like, I, I was like, like getting guest spots. Oh, here. Oh, here we, it was, seen, it was, I'm on the grind. I haven't seen him what? when I, when I when I got back. It was the wildest shit. Yeah. Like it was like. The uh, it was like guest spots galore, just like people just like, hey man, you want to go up? Yeah. It was like Brett Ernst, uh, Carly Aquilino. I remember 
And huh. then Dalia was like, "Come host for me this weekend." Over with. Over with. Now, now, because now we're in the big. Yeah. Now we're talking. And then yeah. all of a sudden, it just kept rolling. Because I know I remember and I'm out here scheming on guest spots. <laughs> <laughs> you got five. You ain't got it five. Was, it was, you ain't got it five. Was, okay. Was, telling me you got the bird. That's how you got the bird. Yeah. Broussard. Matthew Broussard. Oh, he you was doing the, a weekend. Oh yeah, I did that weekend. Yeah, I? and I was working at the hotel or whatever. Yeah, That's you were doing right. the weekend. And, yeah. yeah, I'm telling you, like it yeah, was, I was booked. I was booked yeah. to do 15, and then all of a sudden I was doing 10. <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden, all of a sudden, turn dog doing 10. <laughs> turn dog, put the white man down, baby. Yeah. That's what we're doing. You gonna bring up Chappelle? You are gonna get all his credits right? That's what you are gonna do? All his credits right is what you gonna do? Oh god, he, this Damn. dude is open for yeah. everybody in the fucking. Yeah, it was ridiculous. That's cool though. The to be able to come back, like, I don't know, but that's what I love about comedy is, is people fuck with it. Like, oh, you, like, it ain't some like, oh, he, it's like when motherfucker like leaves and comes back, people are usually like, usually like, oh, damn, what up, bro? And hey, yeah. you want to get up? Because people just, like, there's yeah. that energy, like, you want to get yeah. up? Come also, get up. you have to come back with authenticity. Yeah. You know, you can't just come back and then like be on some weird goofy shit because I don't think it would have worked, worked that way. I think. You know, when I came back, it was it was the most authentic that I ever, as far as being a comedian, yeah, I've ever like felt. But also, they fucked with you. They probably had fucked with you prior, and I think you you did come back with probably a complete new perspective on things. But there yeah. was something that they saw on you the last time too. Yeah, that people. It is like cause oh yeah, because How, Howard was really good to me before, before. I quit too, because right. he was always like, man, like he Howard? just oh he he ran this uh, club we all used to perform at. Uh, called Stand Up. He's Scott a wild boy. Wild One of those boy. crazy club owners yeah. that also oh, used to We were talking about it last night. You know, like, like, coined, uh, oh, this is a club owner. Nigga, oh, you yeah. book comedy. Dude, yeah. Yeah. I know he, what you do. He would do 20 up top, and then man, he would like, oh my God. This and he's dude. not even the host. <laughs> yeah. Dude, he has notorious. I actually, he has. Yo, he's not even, yo, he brings up the host. Who right, does 20? Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. the headliner that he booked that paid for the, to fly him in to do the headlining all weekend, he would have them do 50 to 60, right? Whatever a headlining set they would kill. After that, he would go back up and he do would eight go back up, and dog. kill the room and like murder the room and like talk about people that were complaining about their food order and shit during the show. It's like, yeah. you with the chicken fingers? That's not on me. Yeah. <laughs> and like, and like, I swear, like, attack these patrons, dude. Meanwhile, this motherfucker just killed the headliner that he paid, just killed the room, and he killed the energy from that. It's yeah. nuts. He I was a wild bro, dude. But, you know, but you know what? Like, he was someone that I'm like, that's Howard. Oh. Yeah. You know? I've like, never seen anybody like him. And, and you know what? Like, he, like, he, he knew comedy. He knew yeah, what he, was, he knew what was good. Mm -hmm. He he really had an eye mm -hmm. for it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he let he let you know straight up. I remember one time I was doing this joke. I can't even remember the joke, but um, he was like, he goes, man, you know, I love you. I, I love giving you time because you always come to this club. And you always just fucking flourish. He goes, but you're better than that joke. He goes, you should get rid of that joke. You're better than that. You don't need that. Yeah, he would Way better than that. And that, and, 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 like, that probably sat with you too. Oh. To this day, yeah, really? and, nah. and never, I never, I'll, I'll never forget that day, because like he's so damn crazy, you know, <laughs> that you're like, man, do you know anything right now? You like, never know <laughs> who you gonna get a, a gold nugget from in this game. Oh, yeah. you never, never know. Who's know. He you did like, know. You yeah. never, you yeah. never know. I, yeah. I, dude, I took, I took that with me. Yeah, I've, I've taken it with me ever, ever since that day. Yeah, because I'm like, damn, you know, because like you, you look at the dude, and he's, he is, so, he is a wild he's dude, he's a wild boy. But like, you know, for him to. Be like so sincere and show this like he was different sincere. side. He was of like say, he was authentic. He was authentic. He was he was authentically a little crazy. Yeah, <laughs> but he but was I can fuck with that. No, hundred percent. You some, would, you, but some I, club runners. If yeah, I it saw is. if I see him anytime, he's the dude. He put me on. I was nine mm -hmm. months in, and I was I fell into a situation where it was like a classic. Uh, you're a young comic, and the headliner's there, the features there, and they got nobody to host. And I was like. And I was just, you would just chill at this club and try to get that time. Yeah. It was a thing that any yeah. comic in Phoenix would do. And I would go every weekend because I knew once, once, eventually he would say he needs somebody. If he, if he gave you the it. love, he and, meant it. And I didn't fuck it up. You know I remember I, mean? I got that I got that spot and I didn't fuck it up. Yeah. And he did. He he gave me those spots when I was like nine months in when I probably didn't even deserve it. Yeah. Oh, but, man. but you do get better that way by failing yeah. there. I remember Theo. I worked with Theo one time. 
Theo Vaughn and uh, uh, Taylor Scottsdale. So Scott did I. Dude, yeah. The people I worked with, I worked with Schultz at uh, Stanley I worked Scott with Schultz Stale. too. Hilarious. Like, bro, it's like crazy. back in the day. It was a, like back in the day. It was a day. C club. It wasn't even a B club in town. It was like oh, a I've, I've done Theo with at the Madhouse. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. back in the day. Tone Bell. People where you're like, whoa, Dude, look at the Madhouse. Tone. But I love that because when you meet and they get like a club like that, like, man, that club doesn't even exist anymore type shit. Right. You know exactly. what I mean? And it's like just raw. Everybody got a story. Organic. Everybody got Everybody a story. Everybody got a Howard yeah. story. Everybody got a Howard story. Everybody But like, like like you said, though, like if he if he gave you the love, it really meant something. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's, that's what was cool about him. Like, he didn't just book you just to fucking... To book you. Right. Well, yeah. oh, actually, I, I mean, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Hey, nothing's, there's no, in comedy, there's no 100%. Yeah, everything, yeah, yeah. Everything's like 98, 99. Uh, yeah. Nah, I'd say, what'd you give him, like 80%? <laughs> he he was, 80% about comedy. He yeah, was a wild boy. Hey, that's he 20%. Was a wild that's boy. like, hey, bro, it is what it is, nigga. It's yeah. pussy, pussy. You yeah. Know? yeah. <laughs> let's, let's keep and it sometimes he would have advice like that, but he would also have advice that he thought he was so right on that I knew he was wrong on. And I would stand my ground because he, he would kind of he would he was that type of dude that would tell you advice. But like sometimes it wasn't right. And he was not listening to what I was saying or what the whole joke was. And uh, I got into a heated argument with him one time up at the up at the office. And I remember just being a three, you know, two, three years in and just really hold my ground. And I remember walking away from that. And he knew. Not to fucking talk to me like that anymore, which is good. But you do have to. <laughs> he met white. I Mike, think baby. he want. Yeah, he, he met, met white. He, Mike. he met him. And but I think he was also a dude that loved to tell you advice just to be able to hold that over you. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. he's a yeah. comedy booker. Yeah, yeah. 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 he's a comedy it's a, booker. It's a playbook that they have to yeah. run. Yeah, <laughs> they all get it. Uh, you know wild I mean? boy. But I'll, I got love for the dude too. Yeah, you can't help. I, can't question, I have a question. For you. It made stand up wise. It made me think of this because I've never done. I've never. Because I know it was a life thing that made you take a break. Like, yeah, you had to yeah. take a break from comedy. But on some comedy. My brother sh- died, nigga. Okay. I'm just kidding. I was trying to, like. <laughs> Woo! Uh, you know what? Like, I, I was like, how can I ask this but, like, avoid that really important part? What if, if, <laughs> the, if, the, if the funk, <laughs> funk flex bomb goes <laughs> off on that? My brother's like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but I am curious just on some stand up shit. Because I, I love the, the craft. You know, I love the tinkering yeah. that people have to do. When you went away and came back. Were you doing any of the same material from when you went away? No, man, it was it was different. It was it, like I tell you, like when, like a whole new five, a whole new ten. Like yeah, what do you Brent, mean? Yeah, because Brent Morin and, and Jason Collins had, because uh, um, I knew I had known Jess, Jason. I met Jason through uh, the Leah and Brent Morin. I hadn't known yet, but they came through because Brent Morin was headlining the weekend. Jason was featuring for him, and uh, and I didn't know Jason did this, but. Um, Brent comes up to me. He's like, "Hey, you're going up tonight." And so prior to that, a Think lot of people, that. a lot of having people, taken like two, three years off. Yeah, a lot of people. A lot of people. I'd in, be like, in yeah. the stomach, the heart drop. Oh, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. A lot of people had been asking me to do spots, and I would say no. They'd be asking. They'd be like, "Hey, man, you want to, you know, come?" Uh, Rich, Richie Martin was one of them. Yep. Uh, Shout out to Richie. He uh, just got he last like, place in our fantasy football league again. <laughs> Fuck you, Richie. Son of a bitch. Do better in life. But he, yeah, he would ask me, like, a lot of people would hit me up to do shows, and I'd be like, nah, man, I don't want to do it. I Can don't want to do it. W- was it you weren't ready mentally, personally? Maybe you weren't ready. You didn't feel ready about the comedy I just, thing? Yeah, like, what, what I just was didn't want to be. I didn't want it. Like, I didn't. Honestly, I didn't see myself doing comedy again. Hmm. Damn. I really did not. Really did not think I'd be a comedian again. And then, um, you know, like I said, when yeah, when but when, when Brent said, Oh, you're going up. It was like I had no choice. Yeah, you can't say no he now. Didn't give me he didn't, he didn't give me say, do you want to go up? Exactly. Yeah, no, no, no. He was in it. I remember he was in the green room taking a piss, and I'm sitting, like, you know, the, the, the tippy improv, how that green room is? Oh, yeah. So he's in the, the, the bathroom area. I'm just sitting on the couch. He's like, yeah, Chappelle, you're going up tonight. You're going to do five. You're going to go right up to the host. And I was like... <laughs> I was like, damn. I was like, oh, I was like, I you remember who the host was? Yeah, it was Lenochi. Oh, uh, okay. I was like, I was like even better. <laughs> 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 Makes it even better. Wait, okay. How much time did you have from that him saying that, and then you're on stage? Oh, uh, I immediately went to my phone, started jotting shit down. <laughs> <laughs> you're yeah. like, oh, I got it. But did you, yeah. when, you, when you started jotting shit down, did it bring back that like? It, were you excited or ner- like? Was no, it like, I was oh, excited because yeah. it was like it was like this uh, thing. I don't know. We all we all do this as comics. I know that like whenever I go to a, a a spot and I'm getting ready to go up, and say if I have a little bit of time to go up, like you just you there's just things you just catch. 
Yeah. And you just do and you just do it right on stage. Like you'll see something in the room. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? And you just You're go talking right like up. the in the moment type shit. Yeah. And yeah. there was something like I remember so I had a personal trainer, I was real jacked. You know what I mean? And I was yeah, it's all white crowd. So I went up, I said, Man, y'all looking at me. Hey, like, shout out to Tempe, yeah. all white. <laughs> we doing it right. You know? people. And and I remember walking up on stage and I was like, Man, people are looking at me weird. Mm. And then I was like, Y'all looking at me like I just got out the joint. Because I was all Jack yeah. and shit like that. And, and that was the first thing I said. And then they just started dying. Yeah. Because they were all thinking it. I know they were. Because the way it. they look, they're just Love like, it. you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, they're uh, just that writing. laugh hits, how do you feel? Euphoria just, or just like, oh, this oh, is, this I was is like, I'm a comedian. Yep, I said, like, yeah, I was, I was like, oh, yeah. Well, that's. Like, yeah, shit. I'm a comedian. And you know what? My brother was. That shit is the thing a, was like I've done a lot of drugs. My brother, that's the best hit ever. When you yeah. when you hit a joke off the top, woo, like woo. and you didn't you didn't yeah. see it. You don't know if it's gonna hit or not. You're like I'm in just the saying moment. This. I'm just I didn't saying. know. And but and but like I felt the thing I felt on stage was like just authenticity. Yeah, that was the thing that I felt. Yeah. You know, because yeah, like yeah, I was fine before I quit. But like it was like the, you know, like when you're in that. That stage of when you're starting comedy, where you're just trying to be funny, yeah, like, mm-hmm. you're tr- like and and, and you know, we're all we're all trying to be funny, right? Yeah, but like, obviously, you're forcing you're forcing it. It. it's not nasty. yeah, it's, it's not it's, oozing out of you, right? right. Yeah, it's not oozing out of you. Yeah. You're just like, I'm gonna say this because you know <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> this <laughs> is like that too. I'm gonna say, it's like, yeah, I'm gonna say this. <laughs> what the fuck? Huh? <laughs> right? You know, it's just saying oh, the stupidest shit. Anybody say it right after your punchline? Yo, right? Go fuck yourself. Right? 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 Unless you're Sure, you can say it. Uh, You're an OG. No, uh, it's, it's, right? it's, uh, it's dude, he does. Yeah, his is a fucking. It's a character. Yeah, it's a character. That char- the weeds would be like right. But, uh, yeah, that was the thing that like made me get back into it. Was just like it was the most like freeing I felt. I was like, oh, I could talk about real shit. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I, I don't know. I just I just felt it. Hell yeah, I just felt it. And then it just after I I swear to God, after that, dude, it was like. And like I don't know. Did yeah. any material from the pre Chappelle first, you know, run of stand up? Did any of that material make it over to the? I don't new think run? so. Or did it all? You watched it all the way. I think I watched a lot of it. Maybe some. Yeah. Or maybe some I had brought back, and I was like, oh, I could say it this. Part. Probably rework oh, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And rework it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, dude, I remember. I remember when I moved here to uh, L.A. Like I had this like material, right? And I was like, okay, I'm gonna go out to L.A. and I'm gonna do this this material. But then I saw everyone go up, and then I was like, "No, don't get rid of that. Mm-hmm. You can expand on all this shit. Yep, yeah. you, you can build off of this. What the fuck are you doing? Don't get rid of that. This like this joke ain't this joke isn't done. Yeah, right. like I, I thought I was that fucking cold. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Where I was like, oh, this joke's done. No, this joke's not fucking done. Yeah, yeah bro. But you didn't do shit to this joke. You still, we still cooking, baby. We still <laughs> cooking. <laughs> this shit is raw yeah. meat, dog. dude. So like, the thing was like when I got here, okay. I was just very observant. You know, I would go to those the mics. Obviously, I wasn't getting up. No one knew who the fuck I was. You know what I mean? But I would sit there and I would watch. Because when I got my turn, I would know how to execute. You know, so I, was, I would watch the way everyone at- would attack these rooms. Everywhere. The fucking improv. The fucking ice house. Like, all these rooms. I'd sit there. Bro, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be sitting there till like 2 in the morning. And like, to the last fucking comic and still not getting up. But I would fucking stay there and watch. Yes, because sir. Because there was something to learn, you mm-hmm. know? And so... Um, and you never know who you're going to see late night. Exactly. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not talking about like a day trip. I'm talking about just a comic you didn't know. Yeah, right. And you're like, this motherfucker's an animal. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And so what I realized, I was like, okay, none of these people know who I am. Why would I Why would I throw out new material like yeah. that? Yeah. I was like, I'm not even doing it. And so I, I just, I would do the shit that I knew and I would, and I just built off of it. Yeah. And so like when I got my chance to go up, it was like, damn, I'm like, damn, this guy's good. Yeah. yeah, I already had this joke, but I started doing things to it. It's like, okay, use this open mic to do these these jokes that you think are good, but like also expand on them. Got go a little further. And so that yeah. so that that's what helped me get in. Also, when you rework some shit, it feels brand new. It feels Isn't it crazy new. how bro, you're like, bro, I used change. to do this yeah, like one word change. And you like this is a new joke, yeah. baby. Oh my yeah, god. It like has the same rush as a not a, as a brand new joke, but like it has a rush. Yo, sure. uh, you're like, like, oh my god, that's a whole new perspective. And you can on now tell shit. it for however years again, yeah. and you're fine with it until you yeah. want to change it yeah. again. Oh, or, even or even like I even realized like 
making a certain face, you know, because I do yeah. a lot with my yes. face. You do a lot more with the, the yeah. facial. This motherfucker I've seen go up <laughs> on on a set and not tell, not say a word for like ninety seconds, and the, the crowd is dying. <laughs> faces, bro, <laughs> just looking at them like. But no faces. Yeah. Faces are the hey, game. I'm Bernie a face Ma- guy. Bernie yeah. Mac Bernie used to do that. Bernie, yeah. Bernie so, yeah, Mac was. I looked at like guys shit. like Bernie Mac yeah. and Eddie Murphy. I knew that it, it, like the look, just the look, fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Dave, 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 it's just a Chappelle. look yeah. that you give, and it's like, that is something. That's You're saying something. Smiling at the right time, oh. the kind of smile, oh, the yeah. kind of turn, the kind of frown, whatever yeah. the face is, bro, that shit is. Segura can do it a lot, too. Oh, and he's great As he's it. gotten, it's, I love watching, like, Segura, like, you watch his five specials. His last three are completely different from the first two, because he just has That's all awesome. these nuances and stuff. Yeah, yeah, he does. It's crazy. But yeah. But yeah, I, feel, I mean, shit. I'm glad I got back into shit, you know? Yeah, bro, you know? Otherwise, it'd be a, di- yeah, it'd be a different story. I don't know what the fuck I'd be doing. That, I'd be thinking, I'd be like, want, what the I fuck just, would I be doing? I honestly yeah. just wanted to run away. I just wanted to get I just wanted to get away from people. I feel that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it was just it's like... It's so funny, and you dove more into people with stand-up. Yeah. Like, you wanted to get... But, like, because doing this is such a people job. Such a people job. You know? You and, know what I mean? And then podcasts. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like that. I love that, like... It's like, fuck, you didn't run away. You were fucking dove deeper in. I was mm. just like, woo. You know, I love that, though. That's fucking, oh, God. You know what I mean? Man, yeah, I really. Yeah, but, but, that, but he's one of the people that I met along the way. Like, getting, get, uh, well, not met, but like, well, I already knew him, but like, you know, started linking with, uh, you know, because, yeah, you link with people. You know that you roll that you roll around with the the circuit with. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you got you connect you got, with certain people in a yeah. different way too. You're like, oh, you just, you look at this like I look at this. Yeah. On any scene, you're like you'd be looking at half the people. You're like, you guys don't want to really make it, do you? Yeah, like, you, guys you got, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like it's a weird. It's I'm like, thinking oh. about this completely different. Like, what's your what's I, your? It's, like, it's crazy when you meet people like that. Like, yo, yeah. what's your end game? The real is like, oh, you just want to exist. No, because yeah, you don't you don't want to do. This. You want to say you're a stand up comic. Yeah, yeah, but you don't want to be. A you don't want to be a stand up. This is you something you do. Yeah. This isn't the thing that you do. This is something you do. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. That realization is crazy. Like two, three years in, when you, you're kicking it with these homies, that you're like, "We're gonna make it," and you think everybody else is like, "We're all gonna make it," and it's like, "No, you're the only one that wants to yeah, make you it." Got, yeah, you, <laughs> this mother, you yeah. gotta dip the on these. And it's like two other niggas that that you kind of know. They're like, "Oh, they're also thinking like you," right? But yeah. that, you know what? But that's about it. You, you know? know, I always think about that too. Like, there's like five, six people that I remember when I was coming up. I'm like, I swear they would be better than me. I swear if they did what I, like oh. the things that I did, I swear they're funnier than me. I always thought they were like the funniest people in the world, but they just didn't want it. They didn't, they want, didn't it. want it like that. That's, yeah, that's another wild thing, too. There's a bunch of people I know. I remember that. that. In yeah, Phoenix, there's about, some yeah, really funny like, motherfuckers. This motherfucker's funny. Yeah. And then they just fucking. But the actions, you got to have or, or, And sometimes it. it's something as simple as like, a motherfucker will be a beast. Like, I know some niggas in Memphis that will still be, still yeah, kill. Right. But just that little thing of like, man, they're not going, they're not, they don't want to move. They yeah. don't want a place where you can do it more. Sometimes it's family yeah. shit too. And I'm, I'm never judging. Life is life, bro. And yeah, that's just, life is it's, life. it's tough, man. You, you, who knows what people's situations are? But at the end of the day, you get. I don't know what else to tell you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, one of the funniest motherfuckers we know is in Tucson right now and happy as fuck with the family of he, he, Paulie. Yeah, family, and we yeah, can. Yeah. And I, and and I know. Show, I talked to him gets, enough. Yeah. I know he know he wants what he wants. He doesn't. You know, he doesn't want to leave Tucson, and he's happy. He's got a beautiful family. He's one of the funniest motherfuckers I know. But he just doesn't. Yeah, you know, he, he doesn't want that. Yeah. But if you got at peace with it, that's a whole other. That's thing. That's another thing, right? Yeah, yeah. That's always interesting to me. Yeah, get, yeah, then I'm like, am I wrong? Yeah. <laughs> but don't like, don't talk to me about like how you still like are gonna like make it. And it's like, hey, bro, we, we are in Memphis right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know what you're talking <laughs> right about, bro. <laughs> hey, man, we, hey, man, we about to be lit, motherfucker. All right, all right. you might want to get out of here, nigga. You might want to get out of Whitehaven. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you might want to get out of Whitehaven. <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing about Whitehaven. It is not a Whitehaven. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing material, man. It Mike. is not a Whitehaven. <laughs> I crush in Memphis. <laughs> 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 uh, hey, I, I, don't, I don't crush in Memphis. Really? I do well. I, do, I mean, I'll do fucking great, but, man. Really? I'll, I'll bomb. I'll bomb there sometimes. Really? Not bomb, but at least I was also you every, working. Work. I was newer too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah you said you were only now. there for like a year. Come on, yeah, and then, well, I came back. I came back in year four, and then had the worst bomb. <laughs> the worst I, bomb of my of, lo- of my existence. Yeah, you know what I mean. Right, and then. You're coming back with confidence, But you, you walked too. in there with confidence. Oh, you came back like ludicrous and hustled. You told my family to come. Yeah. Invited all my friends. Oh, those are the, the best. The, the, the oh, you bombed in front of come. people you care about? Huh? Oh. Really? My mom and dad. Yeah. 
saw Donnell Rollins. This was for Donnell Rollins. I'm two minutes into my set. I'm not getting booed. I'm getting talked off stage. So niggas were saying this, bro, because it's 500 niggas in the room. It's why I'm oh, not like man. niggas in this bitch. All of them like, who the fuck is this no. nigga? <laughs> what the fuck, nigga? Ugh. Like, women just going, ugh. <laughs> you ever think that nigga go, ugh, to your jokes? I have not. I <laughs> hey, have not. He, he seen me bomb uh, in front of a black crowd. B- black crowd, the that first was... time I ever did. <laughs> it's a different bomb, It was man. a bro. <laughs> I, listen, listen, this is how funny the story is. He's he's in the crowd, and I and I, wa- I like literally walk off stage in, into the green room. And I'm like, man, I got like three laps. And then literally 10 minutes later, he comes in the room. He goes, man, you got about three laps. <laughs> <laughs> we saw the same man, thing. We saw the we same, saw same thing. thing. Bro, which is actually Ooh, more, at least, that, you know, that's honestly, more a testament I, to you, though. It means you're a good comic. Yeah, yeah, it you, means you're a good fucking yeah, comic because yeah, yeah. you knew how many laps you got. Oh, I knew. Also, I felt it. <laughs> also, you got to keep it real with the motherfucker. I wasn't about to be back there like, that was cool. Yeah, no. no. You did yeah. your thing. Yeah, oh, that's I disgusting. Mean, so, even the headliner, the headliner was dope. He he, uh, it was Rodney Perry. He he goes beast, 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 beast. Road uh, dog. I, oh, I watched goes, his set. He got more than three laps. Yeah, he got more than three laps. <laughs> it was Bro, when I, but like here's the thing: when I went up there, it seemed like oh, this room doesn't exist. Yeah, like I was just probably just quiet. Everybody gonna bomb out. <laughs> yeah, no, this motherfucker went out there. Oh yeah. <laughs> but like, so the thing was like he he was like he goes, you know what? I like that you stayed you. He goes, that's fucking good. Yep. Mm-hmm. He goes, don't fucking change who you are. He goes, but. <laughs> but punch you, it up. But. Punch it up. <laughs> but you got to get it. You got to get it. You got to get it. No, but he was like, he was like, he goes, there's things about you that you're not telling this crowd. Yeah. He goes, he goes, um, he goes, as soon as you walk on stage, black people know you're different. He goes, they know it. They want you to say it. They and do. And he yeah. goes, you didn't say it. And that's yeah. it. And that's and it, it now. It, bro. Yeah. And then. Let me tell you something. As soon as that, because obviously I wasn't shaking no one's hands after that set. So immediately. You weren't in the hallway like, yeah, hey, yeah, follow yeah, me yeah. on IG. <laughs> right. Man. Right, so I, I literally went home, Zoom fucking home that day, that night. Fucking was just in my, in, at the table, just writing. Just, and then completely fucking turned it around. I did see that. It was funny because I saw the Sunday set yeah. too. It was like, a, I think it was Friday, Saturday, Sunday weekend or whatever mm-hmm. it was. I saw the last set of that weekend and I was like, ooh. Okay. Yeah. You you had figured it out. Oh yeah. I love that. Bro. Which is I, I switched it up. Like I was just like, because I wanted it. I was like, I'm gonna get this. I was like, I'm. Not, I, I was like, I, first of all, I got five more shows. <laughs> yeah. That's the best thing about a weekend too. Yeah. You can fuck that Thursday up, but man, you're like, all yeah. Right, but that, just get I, this shit right by Saturday. Night. Yeah. Yo, y'all are so crazy, huh? I fucked up the Thursday. Ah. Oh! And then I I called a sign. <laughs> I called a sign and I said, bro. I told him all about it, how bad it was. With you, and he was like, oh, you just got to do that. Bro, and, and then I was like, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fucking I, I come up with a different game. I'm going to dress my shit, yeah. go up there. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I bombed so much worse. <laughs> 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 I bombed so much worse. And then you know what happened? They took me off the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So it's god. not always a, it's not always a comeback story, but oh sometimes my it's, god. Just, it's just you gotta go yeah, figure it you out. You gotta give me some Rudy what? shit, no? <laughs> no, Yeah, like they took it off. Hey, the way. I used to you zoomed. Uh, you, you, uh, oh shit, there you go. You zoomed away after the show. Yeah, I couldn't leave because my friends came to the late show. <laughs> oh no! So my friends are coming to the late show, and I gotta first off tell them as they're walking in, like, because they're like, "Oh, you can't wait bumped? to see you," and I'm like, "Hey, so I'm not." So I am bad at this. <laughs> 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 so I, I so Memphis know, wasn't ready for wasn't me. Wasn't ready for me. Yeah. I thought it was the other way around. Had you been like you had confidence going into that? Yeah. You've been oh, doing your thing. Murdered all my whole time in Memphis. Figured it out. Murdered. What, where'd you in get? San Diego, yeah. You're in San Diego. Yeah. Murdering and then going up to LA all the time. No, I'm like four years in, so I'm feeling myself. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, I, I can do this. What do you think it was? Uh, Hold on, talk, Derek. Yeah, check. It keeps going out. I think it's all right. Can you hear me? Okay. I'm like, what is going on? Um, yeah. I always think it's funny. I think we were talking about it last night, just bullshitting about how L.A. comedy, if you come up in the L.A., San Diego, West Coast scene, like you do have to go back to the Midwest every once in a while to remind yourself what, what it is. It's a diff- It's not even a different set. I think it's just like, I don't know what it is, but that is different audiences. You got to just – That's just real people. Yeah. That's real America. You yeah. can be funny in L.A., but that's real America. That's yep. the shit. Yeah. That's the people that – yeah, those are people you got to be funny for. Yeah, yeah, bro. The re- those are the people that also buy buy. They everything. buy shit. <laughs> they yeah. buy, they're buying tickets. They're buying merch. Yeah, and they're listening to the pod. They're like, they follow right. you. Yeah, they they follow listen to an it. LA fan will come and go. 
It's yeah, like, baby. Yeah, Come and go. Because LA yeah. fan, also, you're seeing more shit. Like, right. you see more shit. You just, you're seeing more it's billboards, a, more shows, more yeah. comedy things. Like, you know more of more comedians. You're kind of numb to it. Yeah, you're just a little numb. Yeah. It's a great, you're just a little numb to it. Whereas yeah. a motherfucker in Omaha, a nigga, like, oh, we don't get this all the time. Yeah. That's my favorite thing when motherfuckers like, man, we don't get shows like this yeah. all the time. Oh, that's, oh, that's what I'm saying. When we went to uh, Boise, uh, Idaho, j- uh, back in December, it was like, it was, it was just insane. Yeah. Cause, I mean, th- I don't think much entertainment goes that way like as far as like especially like in the comedy game yeah i don't know, I don't know what like yeah how many comedians was it, are was they it a club or it was not no a club. we did a theater yeah they yeah. don't have a club they probably no. have something uh, but yeah. also how many times are they seeing like a not only just a, a a headliner that they like but but like the they whole listen, show was good but like th- that, right. i'm pretty sure you know that's I mean? a, i'm pretty sure that's an area where they really do listen to the fucking podcast <laughs> right you gotta think got about shit it that was going on yeah or you work you go to work yeah. You listen to the pod. Yeah. Right? You fuck your wife. You go <laughs> yeah. to bed. One good time. You take that nap. You take that nap. <laughs> one, one good fuck. We're not doing two fucks. Yeah. Who's fucking twice? Are y'all fucking twice? Yeah. What? Why the fuck not? Yo, I'm so sad. I'm saying I'm this because I really want to fuck twice. <laughs> I'm in the early yeah. Sam's not having it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sam's like, yo, you get one, nigga. Yeah. So enjoy. Yeah. I'm in that first year of the relationship. Yeah, it is good. That's yeah. the time when it's like two oh, yeah, times. Yeah. You fucking two times. <laughs> two times. That's my. You, <laughs> you know what I learned? Two, like, two, two time Turner. Two time Turner. Two time Turner, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 when I figured out, I was like, all right, if I, if I keep fucking Sam twice a day, I, I'm not going to fuck that much. Like, she's going to get to a point where she's like, I just don't want to fuck. If I fuck her once a day, I'll fuck forever. You, you know, you teach a man to fish. <laughs> I, know, I, was like, I was like, did you just hit, hit a switch? An you apple, you just do an apple a day, keep the teacher away. You know what I'm saying? Hey, like we can learn to hunt or I can just give you some. <laughs> what you trying to do? And that's what I, I sacrifice, nigga. Hey, I'm rooting for y'all. Yeah, I'm rooting for relationship. y'all. Oh, bro, I'm marrying this bitch. Please yeah. believe. I, I would have married her last year if everything. She didn't, she didn't want to get married during COVID. Yo, oh, yeah, like y'all, y'all wanted. Yeah, I thought y'all were like. Yeah, oh, 100%. She, yeah. she didn't. She was like, yo, when this shit is over, because I want to have yeah. a wedding and I want to have normal Sam? shit. 30? Okay. Sam's 30? Mm-hmm. We both 30. If you need to MC at the wedding, I mean, just. Yeah. <laughs> my veil's, I'm open. Yeah, hey, baby. <laughs> okay. Hey, baby. He's like, okay. Uh, all right. I'll yeah, book yeah. it too. I'll book it too. Yeah, literally, literally, literally wasn't even thinking about that. He goes, oh, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know what? I mean, you know, I, we will need an MC. I yeah, didn't. I, yeah. Uh, good, I just yeah. do 20. Yo. You <laughs> oh. keep doing time. Bro, and, we're, and we're me and all the other comics in the, in the wedding are like right. looking at each other like this nigga is doing time. time. Dude, one of the worst things I did, I felt bad about it, but this this wedding eventually ended in divorce, so it worked out. But I thought it would anyway. But at the wedding, my homie was a, a comic and he was doing his best man speech and he was doing his uh, as a comic. I'm in the audience with a bunch of other comics and I was like, do the horse, do the horse joke during his best man speech. <laughs> It was tough. Uh, oh, wait, the, who was it? Uh, Rob Maybe. Rob Maybe, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, you, you say do the horse joke. Yeah, he's doing. Do, do you get any laughs? Do, you, do people laugh when you say? It crushes. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that matters, it that nigga. Murdered. Everybody was like, ah, do the horse joke. That's crazy. That's fucking hilarious. It was one of the funniest things I ever did. That's fucking oh, beautiful. Man. But, dog. you know. Yeah, maybe you don't want me to MC. Uh, it's, you know, we'll talk about it. Uh, hey, Chappelle. Do you like the movie Tombstone? Man, these motherfuckers already saw the picture. No, they don't know anything. Oh. They don't know. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> worst actor of, worst all all of all time. Of all time. Not Val. Me. Not Val. No, me. not Val. Me. <laughs> Yo, that's beautiful, bro. Yep. This is how much you Where the it. fuck did you get that? So, a uh, real good buddy of mine back home in Phoenix, uh, shouts out to Tim Soule. He made this, he painted this for me for my 30th birthday. Yeah. Fire. That's wild. Yeah, four years ago. And quotes, I, quotes are on the back, right? Quotes, yeah, like quotes are on the, on the back. back. He wrote, yeah, a lot of Doc Holiday, the Doc Holiday quotes. Um, he likes yeah. Tombstone so much that somebody knew he liked it that they painted a fucking yeah. picture for him. I know. That's nuts. Bruh, like people send me, like, you know how many of those fucking Funko Pop Tombstone, like Doc Holidays I have? How many? Like five. Yo. Yeah, people send them to me. I got like, uh, I get, like the original, the, the actual Doc Holiday. I got this like, I don't know, some like knife gun type thing. Oh, yeah, I showed you last night. That was fire, dog. It's like a fucking full knife. It Mm -hmm. looks like a gun handle. Yeah. Knife thing. You know, and it's got yep. a whole thing about kill a motherfucker. It will, yeah, it will kill a motherfucker. Oh, yeah, you, you strapped. That's like, you're like actually strapped. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that is, uh, my shit right there, man. Is it your favorite movie of all time? Let's start there. No, Angus is. 
What's Angus? This motherfucker. The only movie whiter than Tombstone. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> motherfucker likes Angus. I didn't know that was number one. Oh, that's number one. Saving Private Ryan is out there. No, Angus is not a Western. No. It's, not a, it's a fucking. Oh, excuse like me. About a kid. Th- my nigga said right. Angus. <laughs> and I, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, because of Beef. Oh, yeah, you're you know right. cool. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. sorry. I can see how you a thought. Rodeo We're literally talking about Tombstone. I'm like, oh, Angus. Okay, he's a oh, okay. He likes Westerns. <laughs> what? What is? Is that, Angus is a kid, right? basically a teen movie, but it's about this kid. He's fat, he was fat, you know, and he got picked on a lot in school. And he wanted to date the cheerleader, but it didn't. Uh, you know, he was <laughs> he had a bully. He's projecting his bu- a lot. His, bu- right his now. bully was James Vanderbeek. Awesome, uh, that's dope. And basically, it just has a dope message of like, fucking be yourself. Like, who cares what other people think? And that's one of my favorite movies because of the message. So that, oh yeah, then. Tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> then hell's coming with me. Not one Matt Damon movie. Chad, have you seen it? Of course. You seen Tombstone? Yeah. Have you seen Angus? No. Yeah. Good no, for, I was talking about yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, if spoiler beaners, go ahead and watch Angus. <laughs> <laughs> Are we talking about Tombstone or Angus? <laughs> yeah. no, you know, at this point, let's keep talking comedy. No. Yeah, right. So, in one of your favorite movies all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can I ask what, like, what you see? So, when did you see it for the first time? When I was a kid. Around the time it came out, ninety three. Ninety three. Yep. My uh, my stepfather, um, when it came out, like to the what was it, Blockbuster or whatever. Yeah, came like out, yeah, VHS. Whatever. Came out on VHS. Yeah, that's when I saw it. Hollywood Video. Hollywood, shout Hollywood Video. Video. Shout out to Hollywood Video. Yeah, that's you also see, How old are you, Mike? I'm uh, thirty four. Chatty, how old are you? Thirty four. Oh damn! Did you guys all see this as a kid? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see it in theaters. Though. I definitely saw it. On, I didn't see it. In I think theaters, I saw it on like it, HBO yeah. or some shit. No, I, don't I saw know if it. Yeah. My uh, yeah stepfather he was he was a fan of it and he bought the uh, well he didn't buy it you are supposed to rent it but you know sometimes you just don't give shit back sometimes you just rent it <laughs> and you just you know we you, move, and you move with yeah, it. We yeah, yeah 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 so I would I would literally rip through this movie all the time Love it, the it, it's, it's so for me I saw this movie as a kid but my mom watches like five movies. Oh damn! It's like you know uh, the fucking Asian movie where they're they're jumping around fighting. Uh, Crouching, Crouching Tiger, Tiger Hidden that Dragon. One. That's a good ass movie. Fucking fu- bomb. Yeah. She watches like Hair and The Wiz and then Tombstone. <laughs> the you gotta watch The Wiz. Hey, you gotta watch The Wiz every day. You don't day, have right? to do Elaine, <laughs> yeah, fucking, that's What's crazy. going on? <laughs> the Wiz. That's uh, fucking hilarious. Yo, every day. Oh, I'm not playing. Yeah. Yeah. Every day. She had a rotation. Those were the movies she watched. Yeah. Uh, this was one of them. So I oh, saw yeah. this movie. Like, just too many times. But you're yeah. the first person I've ever met who, like, because I just saw it all the time and I loved it. But you're the first one I ever met that was like, nigga, that, I live it. Oh, yeah. I live it. You are Doc. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll probably get Say When. Do you want to be Doc me. in that movie? I've, yeah. He's the best Steadily character. dying. <laughs> but, I mean, <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> there, but, like, for, for me, there's so much around it. Talk to me. There's so much around it. Okay. So this specific character, and I hope all your beaners, as you oh, call them. They yeah. know what they are. Oh, they know what they are. <laughs> got, Spoil the beans is the name of the pod. You're yeah. they're called beaners, and okay. then our Mexican fans are called Mexican. So <laughs> playing it safe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there was a couple Mexicans in this that were definitely still cast get canceled as white, in a pandemic. There were white, white men cast as Mexicans in this. Mexican, yeah. 100%. Um, Spiro from The Wire was one. One, it, it, it was just so fascinating because I already knew Val Kilmer from like Batman and shit like that. Yeah. And I, Did you, you know, at that point was he in that? Uh, was he in that? Wait, Batman? was he in Batman? Oh, no. I think he was just in. No, um, um, what was he just in? Heat was after this. Um, this was ninety. He was we- well, weird science you got. Whatever I, yeah. you know, he was a was, thing. Yeah, Val Kilmer was a thing. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, and to see what he did with this character was beyond like anything I think even the fucking people putting on the movie could have ever imagined. I mean, he added the aristocrat, you know I mean? the aristocrat. Like that way, ta- way of talking, like yeah, that, 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 that like southern, 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 super southern. smart kind of so, guy. So yeah, he le- so he learned how to do that. That uh, he just talked real slow like that for a while, and then he was able to like build it up to where it was just like meshed into, um, you know, him. So, it made like, his dialogue a, way better. Yeah, and um, the the swagger. There's a swagger to this to this fucking character. The it's uh, it, you know what it reminds me of, and not all the way, but like how Johnny Depp in Pirates of the Caribbean. There's a little drunk. Mm. There's yeah, there's a little, little drunk. There's a little walk like this, yeah. and the hands are kind of flowy. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. I love that about him. The swagger and the and the confidence. He knows he's sick, but he also knows he's badass. Yeah, but like he doesn't have to like he doesn't need to show it unless he needs to show it. Right. 
And, and like one of my favorite scenes is when they first meet the Cowboys. Yeah, you know mm-hmm. when they when they meet uh, Johnny Ringo. Johnny Ringo, mm-hmm. fucking uh, uh, si- what's his name? The, uh, the, the leader, their leader, fucking red oh, shirt. Uh, 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 Google oh, Powers Booth. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, Powers. I don't know his name. Rest in peace, Curly Bill. Curly, Curly Bill. Yeah, yeah. Curly Bill. Um, but him meeting them, and obviously you know Johnny Ringo is ruthless. He's raw. Yeah, <laughs> but shit talker. This is shit talker. But he ain't scared of that. He's so cool, calm, and collective. He, okay, Johnny Ringo. Oh, hey, yeah. that's just my game. That's just that, when he game. hits him with. Oh, that's that's just my game. Who, who wants to play for blood? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm your Huckleberry. Huckleberry. What nigga? That's just what? my game. And who, also, no, f- just complete confidence, confidence utter yeah. smoothness. What the fuck is a Huckleberry? So it's like, why do you I'll even be say a Huckleberry? It, good question. Bro. Like, why? That's like such a weird like, thing uh, to like throw in the mix. Something with like death. Is it? Yeah, it's something with like, oh, I'll be your Huckleberry. Like, I'll dance with you. Something like, something. I I, I googled it one time. Because it doesn't really make sense, but it also just sounds perfect. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah. It's You're the, like, if there's nothing better, I'll, you can say. Like, yeah, yeah, it couldn't have been better written. Some, uh, yeah, yeah. I wish I, I wish I actually remembered what the fuck it was. But, um, you know, and to and obviously for Val Kimmer to play off as a supportive role to Kurt Russell and yeah. still have that strong of a performance. He's yeah. the lead. Is he, he steals the movie. Steals the movie. Steals the movie. Yeah. Crazy he didn't win a fucking Oscar for that. It doesn't make sense. It does not make Cause sense. Because he was Doc Holliday. A few times he was. Above, not, not that Kurt Russell was bad, but like I Kurt was Russell. About say, yeah, I was about to say, this sounds like Kurt Russell slander, and I will not no, be here. No, 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 no. <laughs> my man. I would never. I'm a oh I'm my God. Yeah, I was getting heated there. I was like, oh, the no, fuck up. My it, man held it down in this Kurt, movie. Is Kurt, bro, is Kurt fire in the movie? Yes. Kurt yes. is fire in the movie. Fire. Yeah. But is he, is, is, you know what it is? Is Christian Bale fire in the Dark Knight? Yeah, he's fucking Batman. The Joker, Joker in the Dark yeah. Knight was that right, right, right. was exactly, the Joker. That's exactly yeah. what this this is. He was that character, man. Yeah. And he fucking dove in on some level that but, is. But the, uh, the dialogue back and forth with him and Johnny Ringo, you know, you must be Doc Holliday, you know, mm-hmm. and like the, just, like the way Johnny like just pokes at him. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. And, and and he's just got his little cup. Even when Johnny like shows flashes his gun, slinging just. Gangster, and then Doc that, comes that back scene with is like, ridiculous. That scene oh, is crazy. He just comes back with the cup, just <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the eyes too. Already, of like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, he's like, what? Ooh, ooh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. He's like, yeah. What you, and also, like, I wish you would have grabbed your gun, bitch. I'll yeah, light your uh, yeah. Ass oh, up. exactly. I light your ass. Yeah. Up. Okay, because I was like, man, it's scaring me. I, yeah. <laughs> I like the idea that that whole bar shut down and watched that interaction. That was yeah. bizarre. Billy Zane's in the back, like. <laughs> This, oh, shit's yeah, yeah, yeah. this is lit. He flipped the cup. No, no, turn yeah. up. He flipped the like, oh. oh yeah, that's, Billy Zane's a fucking like thespian. Bro, in there, Billy yeah. Zane is like, a, what is he? A conditioner, shampoo model, or something? <laughs> that is beautiful hair. In oh, that beautiful. Fucking hair. Oh. Well, who is bathing these people? Also, that's my know. big beef with this shit. But like, <laughs> how the fuck are they all, I'm looking at all these mustaches. Like, who is shaving this perfect, motherfucker? Yo, perfect mustaches, perfect smiles. Kurt all Russell white is people. so clean yeah. the whole movie. Yo. When he's talking shit, slapping the fuck out of Billy Bob Thornton. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. That's isn't that wild? Then, that that's then, Billy Bob Thornton. Then when he goes up to uh, and he runs into Doc, and then Billy Bob Thornton's sitting there with a the gun, and they're just having their normal conversation. Oh yeah. And then he goes, uh, I, I forget Billy Bob Thornton's character's name, but he was like, Oh, I, I didn't realize you were there. Yeah. You may go now. That's a hard. <laughs> that's a that's a bar. Right. He's and in the way he does it, he goes, Oh yeah. You may go now. He got a do- double barrel shotgun. Double barrel shotgun. Like, you know, he's just here. like. And he gave him the gun. Yeah, he gave him, yeah, Kurt Russell, yeah. And he goes and leave the gun, too. And maybe cars just ain't your game. <laughs> yeah, maybe cars. <Kyle, laughs> I don't know. But how about a spelling bee? <laughs> Bruh, I, that line sticks with me just like, because sometimes, whenever somebody says something like that, I'll be like, bro, how about a spelling bee? <laughs> because it's such a, like, oh, okay. Ooh, one of the most, like, chilling parts of this film is obviously the Doc Holiday and Ringo when they finally get to meet. Yeah. Yes. And um, motherfucker was dead on a bed two minutes yeah, earlier in the yeah. film. And I lo- and and Johnny Ringo's being a little bitch, like, hey, hey, man, I wasn't even trying to talk to you. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, he yeah, said, yeah. oh, I thought we were playing for blood. Yeah. Right. So, so he, he, here's the thing. There's the, the lines there. He goes, uh, yeah. He was like, play for blood, remember? And then Johnny was like, oh, I was just fooling about. That's what he right? said. I was just fooling he about. Said, he said, I was just fooling about. And the way Val Kilmer as Doc Holliday that he says these words, he goes, I wasn't. And the way he looks at him is like, oh, this man's about to, he's about to kill this man. Because I, I like he, he said, he Johnny Ringo's eyes get big. And he's yeah, like, he gets well, big. Well, all right. Yeah. Like, well, fuck it. Are we, yeah. we're here. Yeah. You know, but his yeah, eyes get big he, in there, but, too. But like, also, okay, me coming from the anger management world, mm. I idolize that because 
he was able to handle like people like Johnny Rigo is people I couldn't fucking stand. And they would come at me, and I and I and I would be aggressive back. I'd be the yeah. Johnny Ringo back, but to be that is insane. That's that, that's what you want to be. You know what I mean? And that's what and that's why I love that character so much because he had control. He had control. Meanwhile, he couldn't control his drinking. My he man was dying. <laughs> Yo, my man was dying. <laughs> Kurt was like, the you doctor please, was like, please, please, stop, please, stop, please. please. Why? Was like, please, please. I like how I like how he's a hero, but he's also throughout the film a functioning alcoholic. Oh, functioning, functioning. And I mean, and he's and also gambler. And he's gambling, St- he steals. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that but is he's what, the man. That's what he's makes. I think that's what makes the character kind of a little more endearing. Is you're like, yeah. There's a element of like such an element of like I don't give a fuck. Not, of course, I don't give a fuck. But it's like on some like justice shit. Right. Justice. This shit. nigga's on some like I don't give a fuck. Right. You wanna? Oh, you wanna duel, nigga? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go. I'm yeah. faded. Oh, like, I've been drinking show, since yeah. yesterday. I know he sh- when he shows oh, Johnny yeah. Ringo the badge. Oh, yeah. like, nigga, it's legal. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> shoot, he's like shoot me, nigga. It's legal. And when he do the shootout at OK Corral, and he fucking the, the I mean, that's not exactly how it happened, but the way he just does the. Wink. Oh, the yeah. wink. And it just sets the shit off. Yeah. Okay, let me ask you this, because you both are from, or at least, you, you're Arizona, from Arizona, I've, but you've I've been living there for like 15 years. From, yeah. right? Have I, yeah, have, are you asking me, have I been to Tombstone? You already know. I don't think I have. Yes. Have you? I have. Yeah. We went on a field trip. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that's back when field trips were popping. Remember when field trips were popping? Yeah. Ooh. Now they can't do the motherfuckers. Yeah, damn, yeah. bro, that's fucking live. Well, now bro. they can't even go into school. But anyways. Yeah. But yeah, man. Yeah, it was What's it like? It was dope. I, I mean, you got to realize, I mean, I was so young as well. Like, I can't fully remember it, but I know I was geeking out. And they did, like, the reenactment of, like, the uh, OK Corral shootout. That's all that's going down in Tombstone. <laughs> and they're just reliving that film yeah. all the time. Oh, all the time. All the fucking time. One of my homegirls dated crazy. a Doc Holliday uh, um, character that was like, he, that's all he did down there was just reenact. <laughs> What's your Doc nine to five, Holiday? G? I'm Doc Holliday. Yeah, Doc Holliday. yeah I'm nine, Doc nine to five, he's Doc Holliday. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yo, that's fucking awesome job. I'm not awesome mad. Did job. Did he get to drink all day? <laughs> yeah, that is he a functioning <laughs> alcoholic? Make it real, dog. Smoking heat. Make it real. I don't know. Gambling. I don't know. But uh, I was gonna ask: Were you more? Were you interested more in the film when you were like, "Oh shit, nigga, this shit went down in Phoenix." Like, did that add any interest? Oh yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, the fact that it's like an Arizona thing. Yeah, it's an Arizona one, thing. Like, a- Arizona, it, Arizona's crazy like that because every small town you go in, they got some crazy Western stories. Like, yeah. damn, that went down here, that went down here, all mm-hmm. this shit. It is a nutty little thing. And it's, it's a nutty thing, and it, like Arizona still thinks it's the fucking wild west. Well, it kind of right. still is. Yeah. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. I used to do that. I, yeah. yeah. We, had a, we had a sheriff that thought he was the sheriff yeah. for a while. Like, Sheriff Joe was known around the country. That's he crazy. was known around the country. Think about that. Who? Think about do you know the sheriff here? Any sheriff? No, I don't know. You who know any sheriff. sheriff. Exactly. The whole country knew who the sheriff of yeah. in Arizona was. Because he was so ruthless. Like a bad guy? Oh, we yeah. hated him, yeah. But I yeah, I went to Tent City because of that motherfucker. Yeah. We had this thing called Tent days. City. You were here of it. No, I've never heard of it. DUIs. Give, yeah, him, a, give, a a little, DUI. give him a little history on Tent City. I took a left on Thomas and Scottsdale. I didn't <laughs> I didn't maintain I didn't maintain my lane. I had to go to Whataburger. You get it. Oh Whataburger, don't play, bro. Oh, Whataburger. Best hits. fucking chicken breakfast sandwich in the world. Yeah. yeah that exactly. shit does it. Mm, with, honey, the, with, the with, honey, with the honey. Honey butter chicken yeah, honey butter chicken. Don't play with it. Somebody here right on chatty sauce. Uh, that's so funny. Uh, and so I had to, ma- you know, you, I didn't maintain my lane. I got uh, DUI, and in Arizona, it was Sheriff Joe's thing. It was a big deal. They uh, would send you to Tent City if you got DUI. So Tent City was like this. It's like army tents, if that makes sense, like big old army barrack mm-hmm. type tents, and they were outside in Arizona, and you would go there and have to bunk up with like a couple hundred people that also got a DUI, so you chill out there. It was really just like, uh, you know, adult day camp. Which Did you is get work weird. leave, though? Like the I got work leave, yeah, but it was it was. Inconvenient. Inconvenient. Uh, yeah. Sheriff Joe ran the whole shit. Yeah, he was just he ran shit like the Wild West. He was. Yeah, he, he was, just really ran it like yeah. He's a wild dude. If you would, yeah, he had he had dudes rocking pink underwear in prison for a while. Yeah, yeah. But I was in a good tent though. I had my dude was uh, one of the main uh, Chicanos, and then uh, we actually had one day somebody threw over a whole thing of wings. We ate that shit over the fence, and then somebody had uh, I swear like one of the biggest things of ranch Hidden Valley Ranch, and I was like, how the fuck you get that in here? <laughs> But give me that shit because we got Valley, he's now is the one too, bro. Yeah, That's yeah, the, one. the one. He's the one. Now, nice and creamy. The one. Yeah, nice and creamy. It's mm-hmm. a good fucking flavor yeah, on it. Uh-huh. Not too thick on the ranch, bro. Yeah, don't get me started. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's, let's, let's move on. Yeah. 
But you know what I like about this movie, fool? I like that it just it starts. That nigga, it starts it with a wedding fucking massacre. Oh yeah, and goes. Yep. Yep. There's only There's one no slowdown. Setup. The only yeah. slowdown in the whole movie is when this nigga goes horse riding with the, with bitch, the, chick, with the lady. Which yo, is and I'm like, cr- oh, yeah, yeah. Get yeah, that like, out of this what was that? movie. What do we think about that story? I, I think they even talked about that. on Bill, uh, Bill Parsons. They were talking about, like, they didn't get why that scene. That was an unnecessary storyline in yeah. general. No, too. I didn't need it. I, know, I didn't need no, it. I believe Wyatt Earp gets pussy. I believe it. Yeah, I, I don't believe need to it. see it. I didn't yeah. need Wyatt Earp to be scheming on his girl, too, who was sipping something. What was she that? She was on syrup. She was, it was sipping syrup. syrup. Yeah. No, it's called, bro, I looked that shit up because I was like, nigga, what was what that shit she called? Doing? Was it not, was it not scissor? Bro, she was addicted to motherfucking, like, It was some, like, type of medicine. shit. Yeah, yeah. Dog, it was, like, yeah. some fetamine shit. I would have been scheming on her, too. She was pretty lame. She was in lame. general, she, she was trash, wasn't. Bro. Yeah, she was kind of. Yeah, I don't. Anyway. I don't fuck with her. You got a new actress in town. Billy Zane clearly ain't doing that. He yeah, yo, it. Billy Zane character was a little. Meanwhile, the <laughs> homie from nine hundred two one zero was in the shit. Yeah, real quick. What's his name? Brandon. Uh, Brandon Presley. Right. Yeah, Brandon Presley. Is Brandon that Presley. Yeah. Something like that. There was a lot of like, dude. Bill Paxton was in Bill the Paxton, shit. Bill Paxton. Rest uh, in peace. Everybody was in this bitch. Yeah. 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 Sam Elliott. Uh, mm-hmm. Billy Sam Elliott. Zane. Uh, who else was in that shit? The dude that ended up, he was on The Walking Dead, one of the dudes. Which one? Um, the dude with the curly hair that was in the squad Charlton with him Heston at the end. Was that Charlton Heston? Charlton Heston was in the show. I was wondering, I was, who's the old man yep. at the thing that uh, was holding Doc Holliday? Also, he did a really poor job of holding Doc Holliday very at bad. the crib. He was, <laughs> oh, on, <laughs> he was on a horse very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> he got, yeah. he gave him the badge. He was like, I'm good again. What the fuck yeah. was that? It was great, is what it was. But, that, but technically, yes, that, that didn't happen like that. He didn't kill John, Johnny Ringo in real life. He didn't. Right. No, he wasn't even in town when that when yeah. Johnny Ringo died. He was he was uh he was in uh, Colorado for like court or something like that. And then he ended up dying court in Colorado. Trial. Yep, and he ended up dying there. Yeah. He was dying the whole movie. But yeah, he was, was he was he was a dentist. Did he die from his illness? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. To break. I like how you're like, yeah, nobody's fucking <laughs> yeah. killing this Did you guy. see this motherfucker? <laughs> yeah. Um, who was his water guy too? Who was the dude on staff that was like, "I'm spritzing him every day"? Oh no, yeah, that yeah. dude was perspiring, yeah. perspiring, dude. That dude was hot. Yo, that shit was like twelve years a slave hot. Dude. Yeah, he, he was, was sweating. So when he was, yeah, so he really trained to like really gunsling or whatever. I heard, he, I heard yeah, that. He, like he would months. just, yep, he would just gunsling around. So like that part where like he yeah shoots Johnny Ringo, puts it back like that. That's him. No, I love he shoots him and then he's like, "Come on." Come on, Johnny. Come on, Johnny. Come on, come yeah. on Johnny. Come on, Johnny. How about like, bro, how, if you're di- a bullet in your head, this nigga's talking <laughs> shit. First of all, how do you have a bullet in the head? And he's like, oh, 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 I've seen bullet in the head. That, in any <laughs> other movie, that's, that's game over. <laughs> yeah, it's like he's trying to catch his breath. That's, yeah, he was doing like, is, I'm about to throw up off. Like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, JFK didn't do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah JFK was good. Actually, Yo, JFK no, was JFK. Call it. JFK was chilling huh? for like an hour or two. For real? I mean, he died a little bit. His wife that. was like picking up his brains. Yeah, it was video. weird. Oh, he, he was still alive? He, he didn't die like right away somehow. Wow. Yeah, he was. But I mean, he was, you know. Yeah, he was going there. He was but, going through it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I just think the way they they did this movie, I thought it was just pure fucking gold. You it's know, perfect. You know, I think it's, a lot of it has to do with Kurt Russell. You know yes. that, right? Yes. He yeah. wrote oh, and yeah. like, directed he, pretty much. Yeah. A lot he of ghost directed. Because they, had... direct, they, they, they don't give him the credit, but he ghost directed. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Which is a very interesting why. So he realized like happen. a month into the shooting or like a couple weeks into the shooting, he was like, this dude does not know what he's doing. Yes. And he would like was. stay yep. up at night. So every night he would be in his trailer and pretty much like do, what would it be? I guess like the uh, board, what is it? The How you like lay out a movie oh, like mapping out the shots mapping and all that it shit. Out. Yeah. he would like literally do that every night and sh- give it to the director and be like do this do this shit they gotta give him credit like this it. yeah exactly wait, like this did he, wait did he not want the credit or they didn't he didn't him? want the credit i don't think yeah um i don't know how that maybe works. he just wanted the acting i mean i i'm get i mean i, I made because it's like you're, you're a big lead in this big movie and maybe you're like yo i want to focus on my acting right yeah especially if you think i mean he did kill it he was and he was the reason that the storyline really the story the initial movie was a little bit more scattered, and I think they focused on the love interest, and he made the focus on the relationship between Doc and Wyatt Earp, mm. which was the core of which is, yeah. the movie. So he was like, no, this is the story. These two dudes are homies. Yeah, and they'll you, do, yeah, you, they'll, you can't they'll, turn that into a They'll list. help yeah. each other, and obviously Doc helped him at the end, and then Wyatt helped him throughout, too. Yeah. And he helped him because he saved his life like in Kansas. 
That's actually real. Yes, yeah, he that's saved actually his real. Life good, yeah, and, uh, the real, the real story. Yeah, they reference it in the movie real quick. They say something like, "Yeah, I forget what the." Did you know Dennis about. Quaid played uh, Doc Holliday? It was when Kevin Costner played Wyatt Earp. Did you know that? Same, in, the, in, the, in the Wyatt Earp movie, same yeah. year that movie came out. Same year. Really? Yeah. What did better? Uh, this one. But why? I, mean, I, I actually watched the other one more, which is weird. I remember it was. I think it was just because it was on HBO. You like Kevin more, Costner. So it was. I. Yes, we can have that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Man, I nigga, do. His movie's too long. Bro. I can't fuck with those movies. Two long ass movies oh, out of here, dog. I can't fuck with that. Now. Three hour movies, bro. Get you fuck with Dance with the Wolves? It's I get it. Dance with the Wolves already. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, Hour three. Bro. Are That's we dancing with top, wolves? That's one of my top favorites. I like it. I, you know what's funny? I like it, but man, I. <laughs> It's like, it took me a week to watch it. Because, you know, it's one of those movies where I started, and then I'm like, bro, this nigga is not dancing with wolves. Come on, bro. What a wolf. Bring on the fucking Indian shit. (laughs) That's fun. I I fuck with the Kevin Costner heavy. He's good. Yellowstone's great. Is he on that? Yeah. Everyone says that show's off the chain. It's good. I'm a Western guy. I fuck with Westerns, bro. He made a really good movie called Open Range. It's one of the last great Westerns, in my opinion. Him and Robert Duvall. Yo. Great movie. Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. It's like one of the right? last. I was like, and he said Robert Duvall. I was like, I've seen that. Western fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome movie. But yeah, this this movie, I mean, Tombstone is just like, that's one of the last good, that was the last little era where they were making good uh, Western movies, too. It was this Unforgiven. Yeah. Unfor- Unforgiven. Do you, is like, just do you like Westerns as well? Or, or? Uh, you know, I, I love that uh, outlaw type style. Like, I, yeah. I, I, I don't know why I connect with it. I just think it's, I don't know, I think it's dope. And I think it's just mainly growing up in the desert, you know. <laughs> What like, else are you going to do? Yeah, what else are you going to do? I get the, the, the so, energy. So, is, so, yeah. so the energy and the vibe, you know, is really dope to me. Like, I, I mean, it's it's not like it, but I, I did love uh, Sons of Anarchy as well. Yeah. Because it was a, 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 the outlaw vibe. The outlaw, uh, also, yeah. you would think that's filmed in Arizona. Yeah. You yeah. Ask me, I'd be like, yeah. That's Florence. Right. And like a lot of, like, <laughs> right well, because like Florence. a lot of characters is like Sons of Anarchy is like, oh, you see these type of people around Arizona all the time. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's just like. Like I don't, know, I just fucked with the vibe. Hell yeah. But I mean, I, um, you know, one of my one of my other top favorite westerns. Which one? Django. Oh, Django is great. Fucking. I, the I Django. really. Good movie. To and, me. and you know what? And you know, shouts out to Jamie Foxx, but Leonardo is the reason why I really am so drawn to that fucking film. Oh, yeah. Le- the he- first half, the and I and I love Jamie. So the first half I of the movie, Jamie. it's Christoph. It's, yeah, it's, it's his partner. He, you're, you're, yeah, his he partner, carries yeah. the first half, carries and then the half. second half is just bench pressed by Leonardo and Samuel. L. Samuel L. Oh, is such Samuel, a, yeah, he, he, he boosts yeah. Leonardo to another level. You know, he said uh, he he had to talk to him off screen too, and he was like, that. "You better say the n word yeah. like you mean that shit." Because he was like, has he was mm-hmm. half stepping it, and he was like, "Motherfucker, he you, look, you know who he looked role. like? He looked like y'all ever seen that clip of a uh, uh, I forgot the nigga's name. He's a great actor, and he's on like a news show, and he's talking to a white anchor, and he's like, the white anchor's talking about like you guys could rappers say the n word all the time, but we can't say it. Isn't that crazy? And he's like, say it. <laughs> oh yeah, he's like, yeah go yeah. ahead it's say it. he's like oh you're not gonna get me say it you wanna say it oh it was like uh, a dude no, it from was, uh, uh, Gone in 60 Seconds uh, he's a great yeah, actor great actor he's also in uh, Malcolm X he's also Isn't in Isaiah that, Whitlock he's also in the recent movie that was with Chad with the, Bozeman, the, five, the, Bloods. the five Bloods the Five Bloods and, uh, you know, that's so because I just talked about that movie on yeah. the pod and he's fu- yeah. I said his name and I can't remember it isn't it Am I wrong once? Isaiah yeah, Whitlock? On. That's no it's not Isaiah Whitlock I'll look it up it's something I don't wanna say Paul no that was his name in the movie It's it's Fuck, I don't know. But yeah. that nigga, in the movie, in Defy Blood's name was Paul. But he's, I love when he's like, go ahead and say it. You want to yeah. say it. Say it. That's say been going viral. He's like, we'll all say it. And he's like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I, I bet you, I, like, I'm sure it was that same energy. Yeah, like, yeah, say yeah. it, nigga. Hold Meanwhile, on. speaking of that, not one black person in this film. Good. No, I'm uh, No, oh, his, 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 right? name is authentic. his name's not Isaiah. It's De- uh, Delroy Lindo. Delroy Lindo. Yo, That's a good-ass name. Nigga, is that not? You're going to yeah, be an actor? Delroy? Delroy, shit. Delroy Lindo. No, uh, but, bro, I like... I like a Western nigga that that's it takes its time. The reason I like this one because Django is almost like an action movie. It, it runs like an action 100%. movie. Oh yeah. This and and I would say like Unforgiven. Unforgiven. Run yeah. like a it's slow. It's slow it's burn. Like, bro, I'm, it's oh, a it's slow burn. Pacing, a cigarette. Hey, Unforgiven is good. It's phenomenal. Oh, yeah. Phenomenal pacing. Oh no, yeah. I think this was really good pacing. It go because it starts. And you're like, oh, we're oh, doing it. Uh, we're, yeah, yeah. yeah. we're in Tombstone. Oh, Massacre. Wyatt Earp just showed up. At a wedding. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wyatt shows up in the town. Niggas is talking shit. Yeah. You see fucking homeboy flipping a quarter with his knuckles. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's yeah. like, get yeah, the yeah. fuck out of yeah. here, dog. What is going on? And yeah. I love whenever they needed it, they would just do a montage of Kurt Russell and the boys just shooting a bunch of shit. 
Those montages yeah. were great where they were just like all on horses, just boom, 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 yeah, boom. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. You yeah. wouldn't see anybody actually die. <laughs> no. They were just shooting. Just shit. shooting. Oh, like, that seems like a waste of ammunition. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know how much that was back then, but geez, damn, Yeah, he bro. just ha- he, I mean, he just has so much quotable shit that like and being you know, being from Arizona, did you not watch this and think like y'all are in jeans and vests the whole time? <laughs> Is it ooh, also, oh, hey, Doc, oh, you're sweating. Take a layer off. Come yeah, on, layer bro. Off. I, was looking, I was like, I am uncomfortable. Take off always, the always the best dress, too. Yo, sw- vest hanky? Yeah. Hanky I chief? thought Kurt Russell with the black vest look was good. Oh, with, yeah, the white, good. with the white. That under- was clean. Fire, dog. clean. Super that clean. was the first time he met that chick, too, and I was like, he's ready for this. Yeah, he, oh, he was ready for <laughs> She's she she done. Yo, she's yeah, done. Yeah, she's dude. done. She's done. Mark it up. Put the fucking shh on it. Yeah, bro. This is. I love this Western. This is one of my favorites of – it's definitely – it's definitely – it's jangled in this. It's great. If yeah. I have to be a hundred with it. It's jangled in this. Um, yeah. Maybe – and then Unforgiven yeah, probably J- three. Django's like, yeah, that's – I mean – Django. Yeah, but yeah, this I've is seen yeah. Django way more. This is a Western. Uh, uh, yeah, this is – this like, I'm – yeah, this will – I'm going to put this above Django. I, and it's because it's more of a West. It's more yeah. – Authentic, authentic, yeah. authentic Western cowboy, but, I, but like shit. I gotta give Django that fucking credit. You ever see the old yeah. shit though? You ever watch the old ones? Like Once Upon a Time in the West and shit like that. There's some good ones. Some of, a some lot of those, those are actually the reason the Django so dope. Is he just stole from like all the spaghetti westerns and shit like? Yes. Yeah, oh yeah. Three ten to Yuma. Yeah. Three ten to Yuma. I don't know if y'all ever seen that. Oh, yeah. one. I, I saw the new one. I love. Wasn't it was Christian Bale and Russell Crowe? That was decent. You know what else we fucking love? I I would consider Hell or High Water. I was just thinking that. It's a modern western. Yeah, I would say that's a modern western. It's it's dope. It's a modern western because it's about some bank robbers and. Today's, yep. and today, yeah. it's like it's like it's dope. you wouldn't see a western with Jeff Bridges, uh, right? Oh, Jeff Bridges, Yo, put that hey. thing in a cowboy. Have thing you not seen it. that movie? Bridges. I've never seen True Grit with Jeff Bridges. Bro, so if you liked him in True Grit, this shit is good. Dude, go go watch Hell or High Water. Yeah, you staying at our house? Yeah, we'll watch. <laughs> Let's just watch it. <laughs> We've watched. Yeah. yeah, well, that dude. There's a dude named Tyler Sheridan that has written yep. uh, multiple western. He because you could also argue that Sicario is a modern western in a, a ways that. I don't know, oh, yeah, like uh, this, the the style of the yeah, I think because so, uh, me and Sam, literally, so the episode, we just did No Country for Old Men. That's a Western. Oh, and people, everyone, that's I, didn't, a, I, didn't, I didn't know it was a Western. Love I love that movie. That's, oh, my God. That's probably my love favorite. I didn't, know, I didn't know that was a Western, though. I, well, I, yeah. I consider it a crime thriller. I would say, I would say, I would give it a Western. You would give it a Western? Because there's yeah, anything that has that many landscape it. shots. There's a Western. And it's a Brokeback Mountain. Brokeback Mountain's a Western. The new, it is a Western. It is a Western. That's a Western. Is, I have not seen that film. It's fire. Is it? Nigga. That's butt sex. <laughs> That's, again, what? The, the first time that review has ever been. <laughs> that should have been for the review for ba- uh, Broke Bay. Yeah. Nigga, it's butt sex. <laughs> Four, five stars. No Fuck question for old men is amazing. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, I, I, I didn't know people considered that a Western. Yeah. Yeah. Tommy Lee Jones in a sheriff uniform, it's got to be a Western. What? The yeah. Fugitive? Nobody says that's a Western. Oh. He wasn't in a sheriff's a uniform. No, it's not. Yeah, he is. No, we're not. No, no he's, like, he's not. Fugitive? He's a Marshal. He's a Marshal. And he's like, he's like in a, yeah, he's not yeah. like a Western. Uh, in the Fugitive, yeah. I was thinking, uh, I'm trying first to First of all, I rewatched that during quarantine. That shit hits. You know, I need, <laughs> that goes, dude. It does? He is scared. I need to watch it. He is going. He is a fugitive right now. Yeah, I need to watch it. That is watch again. Yeah, I haven't seen it in years. It's got some cheese. Yeah. Stuff that hasn't aged great, but like it's really good. Naturally, there's always gonna be. Yeah. I mean, the best is I mean, I didn't kill my wife. I don't, I don't care, care. <laughs> dude. I use that gift. That's a, that's a go-to gift for me. I don't, <laughs> care. I don't care. I don't care. Yo, imagine, nigga, imagine not killing your wife and being on the fucking, on the fucking run, run. And knowing and, it was a one-armed man, and you and you know all this, <laughs> yeah, and you tell a yeah. marshal this, yeah. and he just goes. I don't care. <laughs> hey, bro, that would sink and me. And then he just oh. does a swan dive. Yeah, I would too. He Greg Luganus is off that shit. Nigga, just... what I'm supposed to do, bro? You just, <laughs> you just said I killed my wife. Like, you just said, bro, I don't give a fuck what you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to prison. Bro, that Wait, movie it, is. is Indiana Jones Western? No, that's it's adventure not? stuff. No. Adventures, yeah. it, first of all, I love, my favorite thing about Indiana Jones is they were not, the first one's great, the enemy is the Nazis. The second one is like, let's do these Indians and then the, the Temple of Doom. And then they were like, that didn't hit as hard. Let's go back to Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> the, third, the third one in the writer's room, they're like, let's just stick with Nazis being the enemy. And it hit again. Damn. Oh, fuck. Those are good movies. That is, it's a Western vibe, though. Now we're just talking about movies with horses. Yeah, yeah. we are. I don't mind that. Yeah. 
Guys, if you like football, go to Instagram and follow Darren Bates. D A R E N B A T E S. My nigga pays for this. Ooh. He pays. All he wants you to do is follow him on his Instagram. That's it. D A R E N B A T E S at Westland Sun underscore 56. You're definitely going to follow back. You're definitely going to follow back. Darren shows love. And go follow him. He has a podcast called The Raw Room. I've been on it. They're great players like Malcolm Butler and fucking uh, Andre Risen and all kinds of people he's I had on it. I fucking love Andre, Andre Reed. Reed. Andre, Reed. Uh, Andre Reed. Andre Reed. He just awesome. had that episode with him. I mean, he, great, I mean, you know what I mean? It's a fucking NFL podcast. Damn. Go check it out. I've been on it. I literally, I'm just on the new episode, so go check it out. Uh, yeah, go show our boy some love at The he Raw only got, Room. He only got 287 followers. Are you looking at the right person? No, uh, at D A R E N 1 R. B A T E S one like is he Westland Son? I can only Westland Son underscore. You see it? Is oh yeah, a, is it's his picture. His picture mom? of his mom. Yep, that's, that's beautiful. I can only imagine how many times he got it. one R. <laughs> 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 you know, uh, one R. But go follow him. He's Ooh, a dad. Damn. He uh, he has a wife, and he, he's, <laughs> he's a human being. Yeah, he's, he's a, a human, human being. being. Uh, so go see him do that. Go see him excel at being a human being. I like that. Oh <laughs> yeah. And go show our boy some love, Chappelle love Lacey. Him. Mike yeah, Turner. Dude, yeah. Anything you guys want to plug, man? Thank you all so much for coming on. I fucking love uh, y'all boys. Check out my podcast. It's Managed with Chappelle Lacey. Beautiful. All check platforms. me out. Instagram, Turner Comedy. Yeah. I'll let your boy. TikTok. TikTok. Pop, yeah. Pop it. Popping Tick- on TikTok. Yeah, the, Turner Popping Comedy. TikTok. The white dude with the black shirt and the white scarf. <laughs> That's hey, my boy. TikTok. Your boy. <laughs> Thank oh, yeah. y'all boys. Let's Chatty, go. you have been amazing. Thank, Thank you, you so Chatty, much. Thank you, Chatty, so much. Bean Mafia. I'll see y'all in a yeah, couple days. Yeah, let's go watch uh, Hello High Water. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Just can I ain't doing that shit with you, dog. Okay, I'm wait a minute. Wait a minute. I find all of this is for the time. So, Chatty, cut out this. Cut out this. <laughs>